What's up guys, I'm Nico of Camp Crunch, and in today's video I want to talk about another thing that helped me out when I was first starting off with photography and helped me um, in becoming the photographer that I am today. And that is the importance of trying all genres or many genres of photography uh, beyond what you think you want to do. When I first started off, I thought I was going to be a portrait photographer. That was something that I was really interested in. I was interested in a lot of old black and white uh, photography from like uh, magazines, fashion magazines like the, you know, Avedons of the world, uh, that style of photography. And I was also interested in a lot of modern photographers who did portraits. You know, I really like Dan Winter's uh, stuff. A lot of the photographers that I found on YouTube also interested in me. Uh, Zach Arias, uh, Bert Stephanie, a lot of the people who sort of made mainstream the off-camera flash work, uh, David Hobby, you know, those types of uh, modern photographers, but again, also the sort of the old masters, uh, you know, that I really followed that too. And that was something that I thought I really, really wanted to do. And I guess I do still want to do uh, that style of, you know, portraiture, but that's not what, what I limited myself to. If you watched yesterday's video, you'll, you know, You'll hear me say that I tried out all sorts of different things. I uh, signed up for many different organizations and I helped many different organizations out on uh, taking their photos. This was way back in high school. Um, and I tried all sorts of different things. And it was only through trying out those things that I realized that portraiture wasn't really what I was into. In that time, I tried out sports photography, event photography. I did landscapes, uh, street photography. I did, you know, I did all sorts of different stuff. And if you look at my work now, a lot of it is just sort of like scenery, you know, like street slash landscape. Um, you know, there's still some people thrown in there, but it's more like candid, again, like street photography, travel. And that's really not something that I would have learned unless I tried everything out. If I didn't try everything out, I might have been super stubborn and I might have just tried to do, you know, portraiture and I might have been successful, but what I think would have happened is I would have gotten frustrated. First of all, I don't interact well with people. You know, I, ca I can't do like model management or any of that sort of stuff. It's just not my thing. Uh, I'm just not good with like interacting with people in shots. So I feel like I would have gotten frustrated and maybe would have quit photography. Maybe would have just not tried photography at all, but because I tried a lot of different things, not only did I learn from the different fields that I tried, uh, I found out what I truly wanted, you know, what I truly like doing, which is sort of, you know, like travel, um, city, city type scenery, uh, that sort of stuff. And I was also able to bring the different things that I learned through uh, trying the different genres into what I do today, you know, so sometimes you'll see a lot of influence from all sorts of different genres, styles, uh, photographers, and that's because I experimented with all sorts of different stuff. So when you're doing photography, especially, especially when you're a beginner and you're not, you know, trapped into any one genre, I encourage you guys to experiment with as many as you can and, and see what you really want. Take the things that you do like and combine them together. Now, if you're an aspiring professional photographer, once you've tried everything, I do think it's important to narrow your, your focus down and get really, really good at something. And that doesn't mean to say you can't try other stuff as well, keep on trying new stuff and keep doing other stuff, but you wanna be known for something. And once you're known for one thing, you can then branch out. Uh, but then as a professional, uh, from what I've seen anyway, not just in the photography field, but you know in any field, you know, art, arts, business, anything, you wanna be known for that one thing uh, and then build around that and then you can expand when you're known for that one thing uh, because people will trust you. But then just, you know, focus in and then, you know, put your blinders on um, and get really good at that one thing. Again, you can try all sorts of other different stuff still, but you gotta be known for that one thing. So yeah, that's the tip for today. Try all sorts of stuff. You know, when you're first starting off, you, you usually start off photography because you, you saw something that really inspired you. Uh, and that's cool, but you know, especially again, when you're starting off, 
don't limit yourself. Try all sorts of different, try all sorts of different stuff and you'll find what you really want to do through all that experimentation. So yeah, hope this video helped. Again, I just want to remind you guys, join Cam Crunch 365 Instagram. Uh, that is the Instagram page, follow it, and then use the hashtag Cam Crunch 365 so that your pictures can be featured on the curated feed. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.